Good morning, guys. I think I'm holding my camera the wrong way around. Um, but never mind, it doesn't matter, does it? Maybe it will later, we'll see. Um, so I thought I would open up the video with you today from my bedroom. It is 9.53 in the morning. I am planning on doing my books today, which is what I was going to show you. But first of all, we've got to go over to the pond shop. Um, I'm going to be spending my birthday money. I want to get some swan mussels and some plants and we need a new UV light for the filter. So that is what we are going over for. I'm also looking at getting maybe some more um, oxygen bubble stones and a system to work that depending on if they've got it and how much it costs. But I've got birthday money to spend so we're going to do that. Then we're going to come back, sort the pond out with all of that stuff. Then I'm going to get onto the books quickly before we go to the in-laws this afternoon. And then I have to come back and edit the video because tomorrow we are going to um, the Warwickshire Lavender Fields um, for a birthday present from our friends. And we are going to meet their new baby for the first time. So um, I'm not going to have time to do anything video wise tomorrow. And because I didn't upload last weekend because of my birthday, I'm really conscious of the fact that I don't want to miss another upload. So... That's the plan. That's what we're going for. Fingers crossed. Um, I will take you along with me today um, and show you what I am looking at. And I will show you my pond to remind you the size of my fish. And then I'll take you to the pond shop and show you some big koi. They are this big. And they've already had some food this morning, so I'm not feeding them again because they're greedy buggers. And they don't eat it. It's Eric, the big white one. And that's Bert, the big orange one. And then the orangey white one is Ernie. And then the one below him that's a darker orange, the fantail, this one here. That is bluey because when we got him he was a black fish i thought he was blue but it turns out he was black and now he's not because that's what koi do they change color i need to get a sample of the water to take to the pond shop so they can test it for us and we will see what they say stuff in the pond I'm going to take you out there later and show you what I've done um just because everything went cloudy and yucky and we realized that I don't know whether it's just happened or how long it's been but the pump was upside down in the bottom of the pond we were trying to turn it which was just kicking up loads of crap so the whole water it was just really really murky um but good result from the pond shop I took the sample of water in with me and they said our water is perfect so even though we haven't had um lots of um oxygenating plants or anything like that in it or um a working uv light for the past however long um the water is still remained good so i'm glad for that um we've added some water soldiers some pond weed and two lilies a pink one and a yellow one and we've also put five mussels in there as well to help with the crap eating so hopefully that will work a treat we might get some more mussels at a later date um but yeah, I just made myself a cup of tea and I've made myself my lunch and then I'm going to start on the books. Um, yes, that was rice cakes with peanut butter and banana on top. Don't knock it till you've tried it. If you like popcorn, 
then you can like rice cakes. It is just like plain popcorn. Um, and plain popcorn is gross. You've got to add something to it. So I add peanut butter and bananas and it is very edible. I try and stay away from gluten as much as possible. I don't think I'm necessarily intolerant to it. I'm certainly not a celiac, um, but I just feel better when I don't eat it. Or not that I feel better, I can feel the difference now. I did a 30 day um, gluten free and sugar free um, streak. And when I went back to eating gluten, I could feel how bloated I was afterwards. And I didn't like that feeling. So I don't avoid it completely. I will have it but I'm just very selective about when I have it. And if I don't need it, I won't have it. And I don't need to have it for my lunch. So I quite like these rice cakes with peanut butter and banana. So I'm gonna go and eat my lunch and I'll be back with you a little bit later. Hey, hey guys. Okay, so we are at the bookcase. We have two of these bookcases. There's one over there as well. Um, normally this one is covered with the clothing rack because I haven't cleared out the space in the kitchen yet where that is going to live more permanently. However, um, we are going to be going through the bookcase and seeing what books we can take off and donate to somewhere else. Um, I'm a little bit attached to my books I have to say but I would like to have like one or two empty shelves where I can like display some things so when I had my photography studio I bought a lot of knick-knacky things that I really liked including some very old box cameras and I would love to have them on display um, but I have my shelves are too full they are too full um, so I need to clear some space I'm also there's some books on here that I've never read and I'm never going to read and some books on here that I've read that I'm not going to read again. Um, but there are a lot of books that I think are really pretty that I want to keep like these ones. These are um, Mrs. Beaton's books. Now, if you don't know who Mrs. Beaton is, go and look her up. My mum had Mrs. Beaton's Book of Household Management, which is a doorstop book about this thick. I've got one, it's in my kitchen. I will never throw it away. Um, and it was what, like the first cook cookbook that I bought when I moved out. It was like 25 quid, it's a massive book. And um, I absolutely loved it. And then I found these somewhere, this set of three Mrs. Beaton's books. And I was like, I have to have them. So I don't even know that I've done anything with them, like looked through them or anything. <laughs> they just sit on my shelf and look pretty. And I like that. So that's fine um, because that is a display thing, but there is a lot of stuff. And then there's extra stuff here that, you know, shouldn't really be on the bookcase. So I'm gonna be going through this. So I'm gonna probably put you on a time-lapse, but I thought I would talk you through a little bit of what we've got on the shelf to start with. So starting at the top here, this is a lot of fiction. And then we've got kind of business and um, personal development type books. Then we've got kind of a mix. This is kind of health and well-being. And then there's some odd ones that are mixed in with that. Then you've got what I would call, oh, my daughter would call my smut books. <laughs> so I did like Fifty Shades of Grey. I've got it on DVD. I did like reading the books. And Sylvia Day, very similar vein to that. Um, I've got some more sort of health books there. A thesaurus. Um more health well-being books and then a few fiction and then we're coming down here we have got yes i'm a twilight fan as well i'm admitting it these are my photo albums so i think i said to you guys when i was doing my craft room makeover that i actually put don't mind twinkle she's just trying to find us when she finds somebody she'll shut up there we go <laughs> she found someone um so these are books that i put together from our photos so if i just pull one out there you go so this is our year 2017 and then if i open up to a random page we have got there you go photos in there from the year so this is what I want more of. I want more of those kind of books. So all of those are photo albums at that end. You've got my Twilight books. Then you've got books from when I was a child. So 
Enid Blyton, Famous Five, and Green Gables, my favourite, favourite book. Um, and my favourite story, that and The Secret Garden. I loved The Secret Garden, but I also loved the film, The Secret Garden. And also there was a series on TV of Anna Green Gables, and I absolutely loved it. And then they did Anna Bavan Lee as well. And I loved those movies, like those um, series. I just watched them all the time because, hello, um, because I am a natural redhead. Um, I liked seeing a redhead in the main character of the book, so I've got a, a little visitor. Say hello to the peoples. <laughs> She's a little bit fussy. Um, and then at the bottom, very, very bottom, I've got some very old books that um, were mine when I was a child. Also books like this one is a My Guy book, My Guy Annual. Um, look at that. I can't throw it away. It's history, guys. Like, 1982. I was one years old in 1982. So this book was not mine originally. I bought this at one of our school fairs. It came into school and there was loads of them. So I bought this one. And there's another. I'm not going to be able to get it back in. I'm not going to be able to get it back in. But this one, you might recognise some of some people that are more my age might recognize this guy tucker's luck well tucker i didn't know but i did know mark from eastenders um so mark fowler from eastenders used to be tucker's luck and the this is an ad i know but their history i can't get rid of those um this one is one of my favorites so this is a book that my mum and dad bought me um i can't remember i think it's got the year in it it's very falling apart very much an old old book but my mum did write an inscription in it um so i was four when i got this book it says to donna happy christmas 1985 all our love mum and dad so that is very precious to me it is completely battered because it's almost as old as i am so i, I feel it's pain but i also keep all my easter egg wrappers in here from when i was a child oh i'll take you through that a bit later um, but I'm going to start by trying to shuffle some of these books, get some of them off the shelves and see what space we are left with. So let me put you down and I'll try and get up. Not as young as I once was, guys. Oh, and I'll get going. Little Women. So this was one of my books when I was younger, obviously. Um, introduction to the classics and look what I used to do. So <laughs> I wanted to be a teacher when I was younger and I would play schools with my sister, my little sister, who um, was never really interested in, in learning more at home when she had to go to school herself. But um, I would make her play schools with me. And we had, I made all of my books, library books, um, and put little, uh, little cards in them so that she could loan out the books. So that's got the uh, author and the name of the book on it. How funny is that? And yes, it's a very small little book with some illustrations about little women. And then I found on the shelf this one. Did I make this a library book? Was it too, too special to be a library book? So this one here, I actually won. Um, we had an art competition or something at school and I won. And it was a book voucher for the travelling bookshop that came to the school. And I was allowed to go and choose a book. So this was the one. It was 2 .99. Look at that. Thick book. $2.99. How cool is that? So that is what I bought with my voucher. Um, 
absolutely loved my naughty little sister and I used to think that this was my little sister although I think I was actually more naughty than her which I think is the truth of the matter really um we get to blame them for everything so yeah so I found that which I thought was really cute something else that I found that I don't know whether I, I didn't say was this how cute is this so this is um a little cross stitch that my friend did and it's still got written on the back to Donna happy 14th birthday from Sarah and that was on the 1st of July 1995 and she did that for me so it was my friend Sarah Partridge from school and I still have it Sarah there you go um we're not in contact anymore but if you ever see this video I still have it it's not getting thrown away it's still in the frame that she put it in and everything I love it so cute so these are all academic books Terry had for her A-levels and then I had for my degree and as much as I love history and learning about it it's unlikely that I'm going to read these books again I don't find academic books particularly appealing or easy to read um, so I'm much more likely to watch a historical documentary than I am to read a historical book so they can probably go um, so we have made some space and I'm now you can see the front of the book. So these are the. So you have an everyday cooking. We've got a baking cakes and household tips. Now they are obviously household tips for people in like the 1800s or something, um, because when I opened it up, oh well, that's everyday cooking. Let's open it up and see. Um, how to cook whole salmon poultry although it says microwave cooking so she's come a bit further into the uh century freezing charts is that oh yeah that is the household tips weird i saw something in there about buffets and platters there's something in there about pregnancy pulse rate rash um so yeah lots of interesting things in there to read <laughs> some progress there is space on the shelves and now there is piles of books all over my tables which I need to go through and see what's donating um what needs to go elsewhere and I've got a couple that my daughter might like so um there is space on the shelves now um so that is great I've got the other bookcase to do um but we are now going to go off and see the in-laws so this is going to have to be paused and i will come back to it later um this might have to be a two-parter because i do not think i am going to get all of this done and organized the way i want it in one day but at least we have made some progress and we've made a start so that is it um i will get back to you later so here we are guys as you can see nice and clear now there is a lily there, and there is one under here, there. And then I've just fed them, so a little bit's floating on top, that's the uh, koi sticks. And then you might be able to see, just here, those are two mussels that you can see. And then we've got some pondweed next to it, there's a bit more pondweed over there. And then over here, we have some water soldiers. So I've got three in this corner and there's a bit of pondweed there that will not sink and then over there I have three more pond soldiers but they have moved out of their corner so I'm a little bit worried that they're all going to end up sitting underneath the waterfall because I did put two in this corner, two in that corner 
and two in that corner over there. And then when I came out half an hour later, those two were under there. So I feel like the current is kind of pulling them that way. Um, so we shall see. But that is what we are looking like right now. Um, I think I said earlier, but we took a sample of the water in and it was perfect as it was. So there was no need to really introduce any plant life to improve the water base but I did want some oxygenating weed just to get some more oxygen into the water and we looked at more bubbles and they are extremely expensive um, so obviously this one is just a little solar one so it only works when the sun is out but it would be nice to have some that were going off all the time because they do like the bubbles so it's going to be about 100 150 quid if not a bit more to get one that is decent enough for the pond size so managed to turn the pump over tighten the screw so hopefully that will be okay there is actually five mussels in there down in the bottom there but they're covered in the rubbish that's at the bottom which i hope they're all going to eat um just concerned about these floating soldiers that have floated away from the corner but at least if they float to this corner these tubes are kind of holding these ones back I think so they might just all congregate in this corner who knows but the fish seem to like them there's something for them to swim under so they like a little hidey spot so I'm glad that they have got something back that they can swim through I think they will like the lilies when they've really grown as well so happy with that okay guys so back inside and going to start tackling this bookshelf um i've only got until dinner time so we have got dvds most of which i think are matthews up there then we've got some books there i need to sort out some books there i need to sort out some books there and then i will back to kind of oh no they're not books sorry DVDs on that shelf, they're mainly mine, those ones. And then right at the bottom behind all the rubbish um, are books and magazines. So need to sort that out as well. So that is what I'm going to do now um, until dinner time. And then I've got to go through the books, but I need my phone for that. So you're not going to be able to join me on that. But uh, I will show you what I'm doing here and how many books I'm removing. it is time to stop filming is when the light starts going so we have still got all the dvd i couldn't get rid of any of the dvds one half of them aren't mine two the other half i'd want to keep so um there are books here that i have got to sell but other than that that bookshelf is free half a bookshelf there most of that bookshelf there and then the bottom one i am keeping some of my magazines um i've got a couple of boxes with stuff in there so that one's full so I've got kind of probably just over two shelves clear on this side and then if we go around to the other side where all of the book rubbish is we haven't done so well over here so we've got almost a free one go away we've got almost a free one there and half a free one there so I am going to be rejigging the books um I've got up here my poetry collection um, and then sort of the self-development and businessy type books and then we've got just some odds and sods here really um, and then childhood books and some other sort of health related books so I'm going to have to rejig them 
we've got that's the uh, photo album shelf and then the bottom one is like my my books from when I was a kid so they're not going anywhere so we've done well we've done well um I am happy with that so I'm going to edit what I've got so you can see that and then I will show you in another video another day um what I do with the layout of the books and where I put my little knickknack things that I want to put on display. So make sure you are subscribed and hit that notification bell so you know when I next upload. And um, yeah, hit that like button on the way out. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.